One of the things I get asked for the most in this channel is how to make tutorials, how to be the best pig cake you could possibly be. So today, I thought that instead of doing a tutorial, I'd do a tutorial on how to be pig cake. So for this, you're gonna need a couple things that you could find anywhere that's accessible in whatever country you live in. It's not really gonna be that expensive of stuff, but you're definitely gonna need these things if you wanna be a pig cake and you wanna do tutorials just like the best. So first things first, you're gonna need some sort of surface to do some tricks on. So whether or not it's this, this particular Ikea table, you're gonna need some sort of, of, of surface to do your magic on. Now, I prefer these uh, sort of tables because they're cheap, they're easy to assemble, and uh, they're relatively easy to find if you know where to look, especially if you have a local Ikea anywhere nearby. Now these tables are typically black or white. It's really up to you to pick whatever color you want depending on your racial profiling. So if you wanna pick a black table because you wanna be trendy and uh, you wanna go with the times, then definitely go for a black table. If you wanna go for a white table, cause you're sort of that, uh, you have that nationalism inside of you, that pride, that white pride, uh, you could definitely go for a black table. But I really haven't uh, gone wrong with these sort of tables. They're, they're relatively cheap and it's the first thing you need if you wanna be the best pig cake you could possibly be. The next thing you're gonna need is a deck of cards. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because people have brand loyalty and they wanna go for decks that are fancy and expensive and maybe produced by a, a high quality magic company. Fuck that, you don't need any of that. You, you just need a deck of cards. It doesn't matter if it's made out of paper, out of plastic, out of your mother's pubic hairs. All you need is a deck of cards and you're ready to be a pig cake. People tend to think that I'm on some sort of narcotic whenever I shoot these videos, but that's not true. The next step into your pig cake-ness is that you need some caffeine in your body. Now, whether that's through the use of this uh, very nice cold brew coffee or through the use of some sort of Red Bull, it doesn't matter as long as it gets the job done. So you're gonna probably have to ingest the caffeine in a way that's the most efficient for your body, and that's usually anally. So I'm gonna have a tutorial on that coming up later, but as far as what you need for right now in the basics of this video, it's okay if you're not able to ingest the anally, as long as you just have some caffeine in your system. The next thing you're gonna need is some sort of camera. Now on this in particular, this is a, a Samsung Galaxy S7. Now this is of course not the only camera I'm using because what, what, what else would I be? filming this with, but this is my secondary camera. And I, I highly suggest if you are making videos on YouTube, not to necessarily go balls to the wall when it comes to your camera quality, because it's not the camera quality that, that counts, it's the, the, con the content, the, the content of the, the video. So if you wanna shoot with a camera, there's nothing wrong with that. If you wanna shoot with a, a, a Canon T6i Rebel series with what has to be the worst autofocus since my grandmother decided to weave a blanket with her pubic hairs, then you really don't have to. You could use a phone camera, you could use uh, whatever camera you have access to. The point is, camera quality doesn't matter as long as you have good content. And luckily for you, you guys, you got some good quality content here with, with pick, pick cake. So that's, uh, that's pretty much the, the main steps as to how to become a pig cake. You got a camera, you got a cart, you got a table, and you're ready to go. Now you gotta work on some more stuff though. Don't think that that's enough, and that's all, you, all it's gonna take to become the best pig cake you could possibly be. You're gonna also need to take in consideration a couple other different factors, which we will discuss right now. Gay transition. Oh, what? How'd I get here? Man, that must have been some crazy magic. What? Okay, so if you haven't noticed it yet, this is this is the the Pig Cake Studios here, all exclusive. This is this is where it, this is where it goes down. So if you haven't noticed, I got the the camera rig there with a tripod, and you got some you got that 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 Rode microphone recording all the the clear audio that you guys are used to and the quality content that you've come to know as Pig Cake. So we got a camera here. 
face facing the table here. Now this is the uh, this is the OG the OG table where the original pig cake tutorials were shot. Now I've since moved on to a bigger table, but not that's not to say that this table is not as good as this table. They're both from IKEA and they're both made with what I could best describe as the toenail clippings of a Korean migrant. But that's not the case here. There's still fantastic tables that you could do your fancy pig cake tutorials if you want to be as good as me. But if we come around here, we go to the, the uh, this is where the magic happens here. This is where the, uh, all the, the, the sexual editing happens. Now this is a Microsoft Surface 4 uh, Pro 4 with a, a Lego case that I've designed myself here after shamelessly ripping it off somebody from Reddit. And then this is a microphone with the uh the 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 whatever uh panty sock this is to uh reduce the pop pop sounds that you hear on so many other videos that don't care about the quality content they shoot out on a weekly basis so that's this is the table where all the magic happens ha <laughs> the ma the magic <sighs> so if we come around here we get to the the rigs here this is the uh the the stuff that i'm currently using so you got the casey neistat anal b tripod which is uh, very useful as a matter of fact i'm using the mini version of the casey neistat uh, anal beads uh tripod to record this video uh, i should be using this but unfortunately the the fine folks at dji uh, didn't account for the necessity of having a microphone on the camera so therefore if you want to use this and a phone to record your video, but also want to record high quality audio, you should not get this. However, if you're interested in purchasing it, you should look in the comments below and use the Amazon links because that shoots some sweet, sweet money over to Pig Cake so he could use to make some more videos and not uh, go homeless after the overwhelming loom of unemployment. So when we come back here to the table, because you're gonna need some decks, once again, I, I, I know I mentioned you don't need any sort of particular deck. However, it is good and useful to have a deck of cards that isn't entirely shit. So that's why I have a couple decks over here, which are the decks that I'm currently playing with. Now, they're not anything fancy. You got some bicycles here. You got uh, some aviators, which are always cheap, high quality cards. And you got these uh, Civil War cards that I recently bought. So that's pretty much what I'm playing around with now. Now over here, this is something that I recommend if you happen to have a Galaxy S7. Why? Because it is a, uh, it's a lens kit specifically made for the Galaxy S7 that allows for these very sexual Casey Neistat wide angle lens. We got some other equipment which you might find useful if you want to be a pig cake too. We got some notebooks. Now these aren't all my notebooks but these are some of the notebooks that I'm currently using with ideas that span all the way from before 9-11. So that's uh, that's a long time, and we got some other camera equipment. This is a uh, a fantastic multi-purpose uh, stabilizer. Not only does it function as a high-quality dildo, if you're if you're da comment below for other words to describe uh, uh, synonyms for adventurous. So that's that, and it also functions as a stabilizer. And over here we have cameras that I don't necessarily like to use. We have a uh, one of these uh, instant print cameras. We have an iPod from about 1987 and we have a GoPro that I never use that I that I've purchased uh, Because I thought I was cool and capitalism. So there you go. That's uh, that's pretty much that now the next thing That's gonna be of utmost importance are gonna be camera lights now. These are uh, About the worst set of camera lights you could purchase from amazon.com for about 3695 however they, they serve the purpose here. They serve the function of providing adequate light to the surface of which uh, you, you usually get used to after watching a pig cake tutorial and then going, oh my God, pig cake is the best magician of all time. Wow, oh my God. Well, this is, this is, what, this is what allows for that. Because if it wasn't for these, you'd get, you'd, you'd get shots that look a little bit like, like this. And I don't think that's gonna bring in the sweet, sweet YouTube revenue, right? <laughs> so, uh, these lights allow for a better, more clear shot. So you're, you're welcome for that qu quality content. So that's pretty much the, uh, the tour of how to become a pig cake. Now let's go back to the stationary camera. Gay transition. So now that you've learned on how to shoot these and what I use to shoot these videos, you still aren't out of the ballpark yet. You're gonna need some ideas. Now where do you get 
ideas. I get ideas from everywhere. So it's not just as simple as having somebody uh, take a card out and mixing it back into the deck and then finding it. You gotta, you gotta throw some, some stank into it. You gotta vary it up. You gotta do some variations on that, on that bitch, as they say, in those part of town. So what if, what if, for example, I have a card selected here and then I mix it into the deck and I don't necessarily find it, right? I go, hey, is that your card? And they go, no. And I go, what? That's not your card. Are you stupid? Okay, did you see the card? And then they go, yeah, that wasn't your card. They say, no, your card wasn't the Ace of Spades. And they go, what the fuck? What? That was my card. Here, have my children. Oh, God, do it all over my face. So you got to add some variations to it and, and think about other outside-the-box ideas. Why not not have a card selected? Why not have uh, an ostrich selected uh, from a variety of different uh, ostrich eye? It's really up to you to be creative. But... The point is, you be creative, you experiment with the trick, and then you put it on YouTube, and then you collect that sweet, sweet YouTube revenue. However, that's not the entire purpose of the pig cake. The entire purpose of the pig cake is to spread the word of pig cake and to make more people interested in this lovely, lovely social, uh, social lubricant that we call magic. So that's kind of the point of being a pig cake. I hope you learned a little bit as to how to be a pig cake and the purpose of being a pig cake by watching this video. I'm sure to have more detailed videos later on on certain production aspects of how to be a pig cake, but this is a good introductory video that you too can use to become the life of the party in your respected country. So th thank you for watching. Make sure to um, su su subscribe. Like, uh, uh, Patreon, there's a Patreon, pay me, oh God, uh, I'm gonna go, uh, contemplate the wonders of, uh, South American, uh, men wearing, uh, leotards, dancing, and getting cigarettes put out on the urethra. See you again, when I see you.